الخير واهلا بيكم في حلقه جديده من برنامج ذا كلينيك النهارده معانا دكتور اخلاص وافي اهلا بيك يا دكتور اهلا وسهلا فعلا يا ريت حضرتك تعرفنا بنفسك الاول انا اسمي اخلاص علي عبد الواحد وافي انا استشاري القلب في مستشفى مصر طيران وقاهره في تخصصي وعضو الجمعيه المصريه والجمعيه الاوروبيه لامراض القلب وانا مستشار الطبي للسي اي دي وايضا كنت نائب رئيس الجمعيه المصريه لتصلب الشرايين دكتور اسامه عبد العزيز اكثر من 15 سنه ما شاء الله اهلا بيك يا حضرتك يا دكتور احنا حضرتك مشرفنا النهارده والنهارده هنتكلم كده مع حضرتك مع حضرتك في موضوعين كده اول حاجه كنت عايزه اتكلم حضرتك هي الاسكيبك هارد ديزيز يعني كنت عايزه اعرف من حضرتك اسبابه وايه الطرق علاجه وكده اه ده موضوع مهم جدا الاسكيبك هارد ديزيز دوت بيبقى نتيجه موست بروبلي ان هو تصلب شرايين شرايين الثدييه يعني بيحصل اتروسكلوروزيس فور ذا كرونريز اند ذير از ديمينيوشن اوف ذا دايمتر اوف ذا كرونري ارتريز So the blood won't reach to the uh, myocardia, to the cells, to the my, uh, to the ca- that's why the patient will feel pain, chest pain during exertion or during physical exercise or even during mental stress, he will feel the chest pain. And uh, he, uh, after the relief of the chest pain, it takes from five to 10 minutes only, and then it will be relieved. Uh, according to the condition, if you take nitroglycerin or uh, taking something uh, uh, dilating the coronaries, or after the uh, it will be uh, quiescent or uh, uh, after a small time of uh, rest, w- the pain would be relieved. Such a condition we call it angina pectoris or angina on efforts, and that angina on efforts cannot be diagnosed by the chest pain only, but has to be diagnosed by either uh, thallium 201 septagraph septimibi or by uh, the most uh, simple investigation like exercise ECG or coronary CT. Such conditions should be treated thoroughly and should be, uh, uh, should be taken in, in mind in consideration that If w- I'm not going to treat such condition thoroughly, accurately, a uh, myocardial infarction uh, is expect ex- expected. Well, the meaning of myocardial infarction is a, a complete uh, deposition of the blood to a certain part of the heart, and that part will be died forever. So ischemic heart disease, it is a condition grading from a very simple condition of a small uh, of, of, of feeling of chest pain for a few minutes up to acute myocardial infarction or complete uh, occlusion of the coronaries tributaries to the myocardium and a piece of the heart will be died forever. Uh, treatment of such condition according to the uh, etiology according to if it is due, most probably 80% or more than 80% due to atherosclerotic uh, cardiovascular diseases or deposition of LDL of the harmful uh, cholesterol in the within the artery arterial walls. And that's why we are, uh, we are treating them by uh, anti-atherosclerotic uh, measurements like statin and uh, coronary dilators and uh, so also we are uh, d- treating uh, such condition by uh, ca- protection of, of the myocardial cells by certain drugs, as well as by cascarization and dilatation of the artery by the balloon, balloon uh, dilatation and putting stent. Uh, this is the ischemic heart disease. It grades from small things or uh, grade one up to myocardial infarction. So what are your, com- your recommendations for the doctors in order to diagnose the ischemic heart disease? We have uh, a very bad uh, uh, habit that we call the doctor uh, to come in the home to, 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 to see the patient. If the patient feels chest pain, I advise him and his family to transfer him immediately to the by ambulance to the nearest hospital to be diagnosed and to be treated 
perfectly because if you are waiting to, uh, that your doctor comes to the to home and diagnose the condition it would take more than two hours mm. maybe the hour. patient will die or the something pa- maybe the patient will die and maybe if he's, if he's not going to die the condition will be deteriorated and the treatment will be uh, also not uh, effective mm. in such condition but i i advise all the patients and uh, their families if somebody feel chest pain or drop in a syncope or something like that has to call not call his doctor but calling ambulance to transfer him to the nearest hospital to be dealt with Okay, that's good. Uh, you mentioned uh, before the interview that uh, there are nearly 22 million Egyptians suffering from hypertension and you discussed with me how yeah, 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 critical right. it is. That's right. Uh, after the, 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 the fantastic and magnificent and terrific uh, uh, step of the Ministry of Health Uh, under uh, His Excellency uh, uh, President uh, El Sisi, uh, 100 million uh, health, yeah. and uh, they treated uh, more than 5 million of, uh, of, of virus uh, C patients, C. and as well as they discovered about 20% of the Egyptian people suffering from the hypertension, and they treated a lot of them. Uh, really, it, it, it is a breakthrough, a breakthrough, and. Uh, The WHO even uh, advised it. all the world, that all the countries, to, to follow Egypt in such a way that to treatment the virus here and uh, to diagnose uh, hypertensive, hypertensive patients and uh, diabetics as well. We found that 20%, it means that 20 million of the Egyptians are suffering from hypertension. Half of them, about 10 million, we don't know that they are, they are hypertensive patients. Uh, and the other half of the 10 million, the other 10 million, we know that 50% of them means 5 million, they don't take any treatment. Mm. And the 5 million, the, 50, the other 50% of those known that they, ha- they have hypertension, they, they don't reach to the target of the treatment. Hypertension is a silent killer, killing means that it has no symptoms. Somebody is very healthy, comes to me to, uh, to the clinic, I'm the measuring him the blood pressure, I found uh, his blood pressure 200 over 110, mm. one step to the death, or one step to the hemiplegia. He doesn't know, mm. and he is not suffering from anything. There is nothing called that I have had it. I have I have something, I, I'm, I'm feeling not all right, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling uh, tightness in the head or something like 90% of hypertensive patients, they don't suffer, they don't have any symptom mm. at all. That's why we are calling it silent killer. Uh, uh, the silent killer, yes, because it, it, it kills without symptoms. Yes. Uh, we advise all the, all, the, all the specialists, even the EMTs, The, the, ophthalmolog- the ophthalmologist and all the specialists to measure the blood pressure of, of their patients. Yeah. We well found half of the 20% 20 20 20 20 20 of them is suffering from hypertension. Okay. This is a very, very dangerous disease. It, it is not a, a killing only. It is not a killing disease, but morbidity of such a disease of Is, 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 is very bad, it is catastrophe to find a patient walking in the morning and after, after in the afternoon he got hemiplegia and can't walk. Yes. It, it is not good at all. He will lose his work, he will lose, it, it mm. is a catastrophe. Just to measure the blood pressure and take one pill in the morning to treat such a condition. Okay. Dr. Ikhlas, you mentioned two of the most important and uh, critical uh, diseases. I, I want to know what do you think about uh, cardio Alex the conference and how it would help to raise awareness more about these two diseases and would help also practitioners and doctors in order to prevent them and treat their patients accurately. Cardio Alex is one of the most important uh, cardiology cardiological conferences in Egypt and even in the world because it's an international 
uh, conference. We, got, uh, we have many professors uh, from all the world from, from the five continents, as yes. we say. And uh, updated the uh, conference. Uh, we find uh, in all the sessions the most updated uh, 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 and also uh, uh, we found also the, the, the recent or latest guidelines that the doctor should be followed mm. as well as the topics the topics uh, are updated uh, topics and uh, we got also the new innovations of drug as mm. you know that drug of uh, heart failure the new drug of heart failure mm. uh, FIBA yes uh, it's the breakthrough it, uh, it it treats the first drug treats heart failure within one year it will from it 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 it, 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 it uh, treats the patient from grade three for instance mm. uh, to be reached to the grade two and grade one mm. uh, we didn't find such a drug all over the world like this and That's also good. we got uh, the new drug of uh, uh, atherosclerosis and hypercholesterolemia uh, injectable drug it is somewhat expensive it is expensive very expensive but it uh, treats hypercholesterolemia and uh, cleaning all the uh, arterial walls from the deposition of the of the lipids uh, really uh, w we found the uh, sessions in, in uh, cardio alex uh, uh, in very very helpful for the, the doctors yes. to, to deal with their uh, patients in uh, updated uh, minded and uh, the new innovation of the drug uh, it's helpful for the doctors and patients Thank you so much, Dr. Ikhlas, for your time and for your valuable information. And we hope you enjoy your stay here in Alexandria and at the conference. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Uh,